joins us every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. It is Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar coming fresh off a 6-3 to three win, pushing this series to game six. Coach, always appreciate your time in the morning. Um, that had to feel a little bit better yesterday, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It absolutely did. You know, that's the kind, that's the start we were looking for. Um, you know, a little bit uh, on our heels in, in, in the previous game, and, and Dallas took it to us. And, you know, our guys were hungry and motivated yesterday. Right from the drop of the puck, I thought we were doing good things. And then we scored, you know, a bunch of goals there in in a short amount of time. And it just seemed like we had everyone skating and, and moving and great execution. And then we just capitalized on our chances, to be honest. Coach, uh, when and why did you decide to make the move to Hutchinson? Uh, Frank Hu is unfit to play, so yeah, I, he was. Uh, he's got a. He has an injury, and I don't know how, how much it, it was. It was hampered him, and we just weren't seeing the, the Frankie that we're used to. And uh, so we had a bunch of discussions after um, the previous game back at the hotel. Uh, to back to back and and so you know we just made the decision that that Frankie wasn't at his best and he was hurting a little bit and you know he was uh, wasn't able to go in the goal so we 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 made the decision early enough the night before when we told uh Hutch and Miska that those were the guys going and um you know we we uh I was confident in Hutch he's been working real hard and uh, this guy is an unbelievable person, too. And all the guys are rooting for him. And he's uh, trying to rejuvenate his career here. And, um, he comes out last night and plays a great game for us. Not a lot of work early, that's for sure. But as the game went on, man, he did a really nice job for us. Sometimes subconsciously when you make a move like that, and you said he's a nice guy, people are rooting for him. He didn't see much action, obviously, in the first period because you guys lived in their zone. Does that get your team? Does that get guys going? Does that pep guys up? No, I think it. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. I think, uh, especially in these circumstances, you know, you you have to win, and um, you, you you're trying to be as tight as you possibly can defensively. There's a lot of extra effort going on um, when it comes to defending your half of the ice, especially. Um, and, and we always talk about our team, especially, you know, and, and every team's not the same. But, you know, for us, our best defense is, is a real good offense and executing at the other end of the ring and getting on our toes and, and um, you know, making it difficult for other teams to move. And that's where I, where I think we've been lacking in the, in the Dallas series. If we hadn't played our best game um, yet, I still don't think we have. And, and you know, there's there's areas of the ice where we're just giving Dallas too much room to move and a little bit too much respect. And we want to get up in their face yesterday and, and start of the game. We did that first period. We did that, you know, held their shots to the outside. They didn't get a bunch of good looks at the net. And on the flip side, you know, usually, usually for us it comes hand in hand. We were getting some real good looks and scored a bunch of goals. Coach, should we expect to see Hutchinson for the rest of this series, or is the Frankie injury too severe? How does that stand? Yeah, I don't know yet. You know, it's uh, all these injuries are a little bit different. And guys are um, out. Some of them, I think, longer term, and some of them seem to be close. But I just rely on the player and the trainers when it comes to that. Like, they'll, they'll – we catch up once, sometimes twice a day, and um, they give me the information whether the player or, or the trainers are both that they're good to go or not good to go for practice and games, and then we make our decisions um, in as timely a manner as we possibly can. So it, it's hard to say. Coach, you, you threw some different looks at Dallas last night early on. Uh, I know that Miko and, and, and Nate played with a number of different wingers, Kind of, you know, just keep throwing them out there a little bit. You went with Connor Timmons on the back end. Is that by design or is that by uh, out of necessity a little bit of both? How did that work? Well, a little bit of both, I think. Um, you know, we're getting some analytics and underlying numbers, and after you play a couple games, you look, you know, you're looking at them every night. But once you play a couple games, you can start to see a trend. Um, 
we know Mac and Miko like they can carry a line and the way they go and and, and they'll produce. Uh, Landy's been really good with them. Landy's also been really good and and, and I think turns our second line and Chad and the Chiefs get into a really good shutdown line. Um, we've been having some trouble with a couple of their lines and some of them we've been doing real well against so like some of the matchups that we've been rolling with and even Dallas was rolling with. Um, so you, you have to, sometimes you get to trade one thing for the other. And we want to try to find a way to, to get the best out of our whole lineup. And um, sometimes you just move Mac around a little bit. You're playing with different guys and, he, and guys get real excited to play with him. It sparks him. Um, but the play of, um, you know, that we were able to do that yesterday because of the play of a couple guys and Burkowski being one of them. I mean, he, he's his last couple games, he's been engaged, he's been skating, he's been making things happen and um, been a dangerous player for us. When he's playing like that, you know, Max line continues to go and, and, uh, you know, but we, we had, like you said, we had different guys in that comfort fed Mac for a one time when the first period we were playing Mac with Comfort and Jost, we were playing Landy with Kadri and Chuskin, moved Miko around a couple times. And it, it you know, it be, it becomes tougher job for Dallas. Um we you know, we were the home home team yesterday too, so we can kinda of jump our guys out there in, in different situations that we like and, and it works and you know, gotta find a way to do it again for a couple of games. Jared Bednar with us. Um, Coach, allow me to speak on behalf of all Avs fans here when I say this, that uh, we didn't like a lot of what we saw from Dallas towards the end of that game. A lot of the extracurriculars that were happening. What do you have as far as conversations with your team of defending your guys and making sure that uh, you aren't just getting blasted out there without retaliation, but at the same time not doing things that, that get your team ending up in the box because you're doing that to defend your guys? Yeah, well, that's a fine line, you know. Like, so we talked to the officials about it early on. They started, they started with that, with that stuff early on in the game because of the score and, you know, the extra shot, the scrum after every. So, you know, we were defending ourselves, and there was a scrum after every whistle, and you know, we're fine with that. You know, the puck hits the ice, and you got to play again. Um, you know, it was going to be a long game that way, and I think the refs just got fed up with scrums after all the whistles. They came by and said, well, we're just going to take one guy out of it. He said, it's fine. We know who's starting it. We're not starting it up you know, up on the scoreboard the way we are, and, and I think they're smart enough to understand that. And then first penalty goes to Gerard. <laughs> you know, I know. Gee, come on. Penalty. That was ridiculous. So, after <laughs> Kozlo comes in there and does a bunch of stuff, so that kind of frustrated me, so we talked with the refs again, and then eventually they started, you know, getting kicked out. But it's a little frustrating even at the end of the game because they get kicked out for a 10-minute misconduct, and the next guy gets a 10-minute misconduct, and then they give us another penalty, and we're shorthanded. So it's like, it was, uh, you know, it was, but it was it was okay. You know, I, I think our guys played with the right amount of bite. We didn't roll over, but we didn't let them, like, take a bunch of cheap shots either. So the important thing is you win the game, and they're trying to do everything they can to get you off your game, you know? So, uh, but we, I didn't, I didn't love the second half of our game, but I think that sometimes in this scenario, it's just the way it goes um, when you build a big lead like that early in the game. Coach, Coach, what's sorry about that? Yeah, Vic, 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 Vic wants to talk to you. What's crazy okay. about this series <laughs> is I don't know what to expect anymore. It's like it's impossible to predict anything. I, like, I'll ask you as a coach, mentally speaking here, how does the team, the team we saw in the first period of game four, where you didn't attempt a shot on goal for the first 18 20, how does that team, how is that the same team as the one we saw in the first period last night? I mean, those are the same two teams, completely different looks. How does that happen? Yeah. Uh, man, I wish I had an easy answer for that, you know. Um, I don't know. It's it's in, I don't know. Sometimes you, you, you're just, you think you're ready to play, but you're not ready to play at the level that, that the other team's going to bring, and, and sometimes the other team just has a little extra. We just flipped the script entirely on them last night. It's, um, and 
sometimes it's just a break, you know. Like we we came out in that first period the other night. We actually had the like the one we lost three nothing. We actually had the first two scoring chances, and there were two really good looks. We, there was a power play opportunity, and our first unit they didn't do anything, and our second unit came out, and the Chiefs could one one time to talk about a foot wide from the slot off the rush, and then. Um, we stole the puck on a four check for a second luck and slid it into the other who walked right down in between the hash marks and either shot it wide or, or he don't even got a piece of his blocker on it. And then they went down and got power play, power play, and scored a couple of goals. And, you know, we didn't handle a sort of a routine shot in the net front. They got a rebound to start it off and then they got going even more with their power play. Next thing you know, it was 3 nothing, And, and when I look back on it, I was really disappointed in our first period. And I watched all the video, and we had a seven-minute stretch where we were doing everything Dallas was doing, and it was zero-zero. But once they scored that first goal, they 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 turned it up a little bit. We had a little letdown, and things got made for a big difference in that hockey game. All right, Jared, last thing for you. I certainly appreciate your time. I put my coach on my coach hat on last night in the second and the third period. The hell's and, your coach hat? What is it, Fedora? Uh, well, what do you have? It, 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 pretty much, yeah. A visor? Uh, well, Jared doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> I Actually, I've seen you wear a hat, but very rarely. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, though, is there, there are some things about your team that, that uh, you know, I'm sure you didn't like as that game went on. The inability to clear the zone, that kind of thing. Again, you lose Ben in front of the net, that kind of thing. Things you want to clean up is Dallas, they're going to really press the issue with you tomorrow. I mean, they're going to really come at you hard, and your guys need to handle it. So what do you want to see better coming up in game number six? Oh, well, there's a couple things for sure. Like, I think number one – that we've been talking about the whole series is we get to stay out of the box, you know? Like, when you're watching their power play as a coach, I mean, they just move it to the flanks and pound away. But when they, when because they know that their flanks are shooting, they're putting two and three guys to the net. Well, you got to respect their shooters because their D can shoot it and both flanks can shoot it, and then they're dropping the other three guys right into the net. Well, you're... You're stuck with one to two guys there. You don't want to get flexed out too far on their, on their shooters, but if you're not blocking their shots, they'll rip them by you if you're too deep. So there's a lot of challenges there. And they keep coming up with those rebounds, and we're a little bit late, you know. I think our goaltending has to be able to hang on to some of those shots and steer some of those shots out of the net front, and they can't just be sitting there. But at the same time, we got to do a better job as a team blocking some of them and clearing so our collapse has to be better. Sure. And as you said, like the, as as you said, there um, the win in the wall battles and, and some of the things that that we just didn't do. I didn't like our wings as the game went on. Like our team were moving pucks up to them, and we just didn't could, couldn't uh, find an answer to get pucks out of our zone. You had to be able to catch it, chip it, or deflect it, and skate onto it and uh, win some of those wall battles, and, and we didn't win enough of them, certainly in the second half of the game. And Partly that's due to their press, and partly that's due just to us um, not not making the right touch on the puck on the walls. We'll have to get better there, and we'll show our guys a little bit of that here later today or tomorrow morning. Jared Bednar, head coach of the Avalanche. Great win yesterday, coach. Hopefully keep this thing going. We'll talk to you next week talking about another series win. Always appreciate the time. All right, thank you guys. You bet. Thanks, coach.